Hello, friends and family. Welcome back to our home. I'm Peggy Lou, and I'm crazy for retro things. I think this might look a little Halloweenish to you, but it's the only area that will. I have been working all day long. I'm quite bush putting things back after having our carpet installed yesterday. It was pretty loud, lots of banging going on. We were in the basement most of the time and it took from like nine o'clock in the morning until three o'clock in the afternoon. But they did a wonderful, wonderful job. We just love it. Yep, we are very, very happy with it. So I'll show you a little bit more as I go from shelf to shelf. I have been also, when I finished putting the hutch back together, I've been emptying a large bin full of little cat and dog figurines that I started collecting decades ago. I was so into cute little cats and dogs. And if I'd find them really, really, really inexpensive, I would pick them up if I thought they were cute enough. But I also, of course, started loving the bigger cat figurines too. Now all of these plain black cats, I've taken them out for Halloween because why wouldn't I? But I've put little um, faceted gemstones for eyes on them because I just didn't like how plain they looked. I think they're spookier and more fun, but this is a pair that was just beautiful and I do have them on some of the bigger cats to my right, but I kind of ran out of the amber ones and green ones. Those are the only colors that I really wanted to use on the cats. So nowadays, all you can find, unfortunately, is these. They're a little more Aurora Borealis finish on them, so you'll catch a glimpse of purples and greens. So it was disappointing that I've even looked on the internet. I looked at all the craft stores and they're just not making them as fancy as what I was fortunate to buy many years ago. This is my latest purchase. I don't remember where I found it. It's going to be too hard for me to remember all these. But she is adorable, and I'll bet you anything she had a um, pal or a mate that she was leaning up against. So that's most likely a Japan one. Very, very lightweight, very cute. So I did end up putting the black cats up here because I did want to use this as a a newer cat that I just found, you know, I, I have no idea when it was made, but it could have been a Halloween item. I haven't tried to look it up yet, but there must have been something hanging from it, and I would venture to guess it could have been a spider. What do you think? It was pretty cute that it held, or it holds, a votive of some sort. If you put a real little candle votive in there. Maybe the heat would do something to whatever was dangling up there. I don't know, but I'll look it up sometime, but it was irresistible and I think I did thrift it too. I certainly didn't pay very much for it. It's just adorable. So it, it does have the eyes painted very nice. Good job. So I thought, um, all of the bigger ones I would put on the bookcase here. All the miniatures are on two of the metal shelves in the stairwells. But first I'll talk about some of these. 
This is adorable. Again, I did put the rhinestone eyes on it. Norm spray painted it for me. It was a beige cat. Didn't have any fancy eyes painted on it. And I so wanted uh, more black cats for Halloween. So I hand painted a little ball in bright orange. It's adorable now. I'm very happy with it. And again, we use Rust-Oleum 2X. That would have been the high gloss black. And then I use little bottles of Tester's paints and that would have been a gloss also that I would have put on the ball. This little cutie, tan, fluffy kitten, I found uh, three of them together. It could have been the Goodwill, but it was a couple months ago or so. And they only had a little black dot painted for their eyes. They looked really sad, terrible. So I just, tonight, finally took them off the shelf in the basement and put on a pair of green plastic gem gems that are, you know, they have um, self-sticking stuff on the backs of them. So I just pressed them on for now. Sometimes if I decide that's what I really want to do, then I will use some good craft glue to glue them on. I found this adorable dog many years ago. What a sad sack, huh? But he does have the cutest floral pattern in the mold on his ears and big flower on his chest. So he's probably just a hobbyist piece too and I didn't end up doing anything to him. This was adorable, uh, probably could have been an antique mall, I would assume. It looks like another Japan kitty. I'll look at some of these after the video is done and then if there's any good information on the bottom, I'll put it in the video text. So this was the other kitty. That's the small one, and this was a bigger one. And they were all three together, and they were all made by the same person. Just a simple glaze. Just two tiny little spots for that one's eyes again. But this one had very blue eyes. So I decided to put a green stone that was a little smaller so you could still see a little bit of the blue eye showing on the edges. So they all have the same initials on the bottom and they were all at the Goodwill, I believe. So I got a real deal on them. They are pretty cute and I've had this funny guy, flop-eared dog for a very long time. I've thrifted that also and I just tonight decided that I really wasn't all that crazy about him, but I knew I would like him better if I would put the little um, faceted eyes in him. So I just picked a small amber one, but they are a little bit Aurora Borealis again. But I like him better now. His eyes were just really, really dark brown. It just kind of made him look sadder yet. I wanted to give him a little bit of spark. So you've seen this before on Halloween. This is a very fun cat I found quite a few years ago. Those are glass eyes. So those are original eyes and I've always had fun showing him hanging off the shelf, probably to my right, the big shelf. Um, he fits fine on it. So I don't know anything about that cat either. And this one I found many, many years ago, probably in an antique mall too. And those are original glass eyes too. Very sweet, but very, very plain cat. 
Now this one was maybe it was like six dollars in an antique mall and Norm thought it was kind of boring and I don't recall what it had for anything for eyes. I don't think it had anything. Probably a hobbyist piece but I put those eyes in her. So I really like it now. It comes to life in my mind. Down here, I just found three, three adorable pets this year. This huge cat is just so sweet. I could not pass it up. It was $7 at a church thrift store in Hutchinson, Minnesota this past spring. I just love her and she's so heavy. Oh my goodness, I cannot pick her up hardly with one hand. And I just assume it's hobbyist too, but really, really nice job on the eyes. So cute. And I fell in love with this one from the thrift store. It's just a hobbyist. Funny little shaggy dog. And I, the tongue was, I believe it was more red. Or, yeah, I, I don't know, it was a weird color. I didn't like it, so I repainted it. And with what you're seeing is much paler than it really is. It's it's a definite uh, fleshy pink color, but that looks really pale. He is so cute. I can pick him up all right. And this one was absolutely adorable, too. Really, really fabulous work on it, so... I don't know. It could have been a professional piece. I just don't recall. And I, even if I had picked them up and looked at all of them, I can't imagine me remembering what's what. So here's some very big cats on the bottom. Uh, you've seen the large Hager, Royal Hager one on the left. I was very, very fortunate to find it a long time ago. Uh, I just love it. Um, I've had it, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 years already. Boy, time flies. Yep, beautiful glass eye on one side only, which is crazy, but that's the way they did them. Very muscular looking cat, huh? I just found this one somewhere. Very, very reasonable. It's a good sized cat. And I didn't like the eyes either on that one. And of course, I kind of like them a little more modernized. Um, so basically, I think I do that mostly though when I don't care for the look of the eyes. Because you take that puppy dog, it's fine. The kitty was adorable. So I don't, I don't do that to all of them. And that is, uh, I don't know, is that Royal Hager too? That's my huge cat that I usually have had sitting, lying underneath our console table in front of the picture window or on the hearth. It's fun too, if you give her a rug. Now this one I just found at Wild Vintage Collective and it really was ugly. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It was beige. Awful looking eyes. Just, uh, just not great. It could be more of a big cat. And I probably should ask Norm to spray it black. But I just have so many black things that I just love the idea of a bright orange cat. And I didn't really find eyes that I liked. It just is a small opening. It goes way out to the sides, but the actual opening that would fit one of the gems was not very big. And Norm was complaining because the head has a little bit of pitting in it, but I said, that's okay. I mean, he's so big. But yeah, it's quite sculptural again. 
very, very big, but um, I thought it was a pretty good deal and I knew that I wanted Norm to spray paint it. So that's what he did. Maybe a couple coats, but we can even do more and the eyes are not glued on. So that's not gonna be a problem to take them off if I want him to maybe even put a high gloss clear coat on him, something. And I could consider doing something with his nose, but as you can see, your modern cats don't really have their nose defined either like the, the Hager ones. So that's what's down here. That's the only place I had room to put these huge cats, my biggest ones. Before I go over to the wall behind me and the shelf where there are more bigger cats, I thought I would skip to some smaller ones here first. These are the type of things that I have been finding for a few dollars in usually antique malls. I don't know if I would find them too often in thrift stores, but I may have painted the flowers because they were poorly done. Um, it was very, very cute and I may have even painted the collar more gold. I love to embellish things, make them a little cuter. And this is a, a newer dog. This would probably be Japan. You can tell by the way it's painted and the fact that it did have a gold collar. But this looks like a funny little newer ceramic uh, little dachshund. I grew up with a red one and a miniature black one. A standard red one that got pretty fat. <laughs> Her name was Ginger and uh, Melissa will remember possibly Tina. I don't know if she would or not. Tina was the black one with the brown face in a miniature size. I'm not sure if we had her when Melissa was real little. Probably. I mean, my sister, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Uh, this is fairly new purchase, probably two years ago. The sweet dog, uh, probably Japan. Just love those. I like both the fun hand-painted ones like that and, and the fancy porcelain type dogs and cats. So here's another one, a lot like the rooster that I was showing you for Valentine's Day with the rhinestone eyes and the spaghetti bits on it here and there. Yeah, so that is Japan too, I would assume. This one is such an adorable spaghetti dog. Oh, it was so cute, I couldn't resist it. And I do not know, probably an antique mall, of course. I thought she had flowers on her hat. Let me see. Yeah, there is a flower painted back there. Of some sort. But she's got spaghetti on her tail, too. So cute, but it isn't marked on the bottom. Just crazy, huh? Now, a lot of you have seen this. Uh... I put this out a lot of times on my small shelves for Halloween too. I really like it. I've only found one. I don't know why they're not very easy to find, but that's a little Avon perfume bottle. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that. And I don't know, this looks like a Japanese style the little doggy on the far left. It's very mod. Found it many years ago. And this crazy little poodle is half of a salt and pepper set. And this is a salt and pepper set that my brother gave me. Aren't they adorable? I bet a lot of people have purchased this set 
And there's something else too, some other animal that they made this way where the tails link together. But they're a little Japan set, of course. And these were fairly new a couple years ago, maybe. Very cute, they're not salt and peppers, but they're sweet. They are smaller than this guy. That one down there is bigger. Yep, I got a real deal on all of those. Up here, getting harder for me to reach, so I've got zoomed in a little bit. I used to have that poodle on the end made of red clay, Japan, I would assume, on the shadow box in the turquoise bedroom years and years ago. And this is fairly new, maybe five years ago. So cute. I don't even know for sure what kind of dog it is. I'm not real knowledgeable about dogs, but this is a new thrift. Cute little uh, hobbyist piece, I'm sure. So fun. And I just found this real deal. It's uh it says Bone China. I think that was at Goodwill. And there's the other poodle. Up here, these were my mom's and I have shown them before. Years ago, probably when I first started making videos. They are made in West Germany. Let me check the bottom again. It's that Erphilia, E-R-P-H-I-L-I-A, something like that. Let me see if I can, I'll take one down and we'll look at the bottom. So it's not West Germany, it's Germany. They're very old. P-H-I-L-A, yep. So, they were my mom's. They're painted pretty crazy. But cute. I've hung on to them for sentimental reasons. He's looking at that one. Suspicious-like. I just found this sweet little Scotty dog. Uh, it was at the Goodwill for a few dollars and his eyes had rhinestones in them, but they were really gooped up with bad glue and I really had to work very, very, very hard to get them out and uh, tried to clean that up really well and then touch up what got scratched because it was just next to impossible to get this little guy's eyes cleaned up. And I just put those stones in there or little gemstones. I actually do have some Swarovski crystals. Swarovski. That's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Sorry, I'm a little shaky, but I was trying to hold one hand. I should be keeping both hands on the phone. So, I like him now. 
very cute. And this is a new find. Probably was at an antique mall. No, I think I did find that at a thrift store and was very, very surprised. Obviously, he's lost his pups. Her pups, sorry. Pretty cute. Most likely Japan. Yeah, they just don't fit well on this shelf. They were a little tall at the end dogs, so... I decided I might as well just stick them up there so I could show you that I do fall for these cute little animals. My fun, quiet pets. Over here, I tried to put uh, together a groping that was colorful and kind of... Um, size-wise in proportion pretty good this is something um, I think my brother gave us this it is by Lane and Company it's pretty well known very common I've hung on to it for years and years it is a TV lamp 50s TV lamp probably very nice condition some of them do not have those beautiful aquamarine eyes. Yeah, very pretty. And I found this at somewhere, who knows, but I decided the eyes were kind of boring and I wanted it glitzy, so I put some little gemstones on the collar. I did not glue them on yet, so I most likely bumped one of them over on the right there since I did go all the way around. But I thought he was pretty cute if you dress him up. You see these around a lot. That's a pretty common mold that people did in a lot of different colors, but I did like this one because it was all creamy colored and not where they tried to shade it to really make that fur stand out. They really didn't need to do that. I think it just makes it kind of ugly. <laughs> Anyways, this was new last year. And again, I did put the stones in the eyes because I'm crazy, you know. But this is adorable. There is so much texture on this. I have no idea what I spent on it. It wasn't that bad. Norm didn't roll his eyes. He probably thought it was kind of weird looking, but wow, isn't that a crazy glaze? Isn't that cute though? I just love the way his head is tilted. That is adorable. And I've always liked this really, really, really modern one. I've always put it out for Halloween with the black ones. All the orange and black ones, of course. And I did put those eyes in. You can see they are the much prettier eyes. The much prettier gemstones, I should say. Yeah, I wish I could get a hold of some of those. And same with this crazy guy or girl. This is a bank. Uh, very, I'll bet it's rare. I have never seen it except maybe on the internet I looked it up and I think I managed to find it and I have no idea. It's got a very fluffy tail and I did discuss it in a, a previous video probably a couple years ago. Probably trying to figure out Okay, the tail is this great big curl. So it has a huge fluffy tail. And it could be a Pekingese. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I was asking Norm's opinion. I just put these up over here because I've missed them terribly. They've been packed away in a bin for years. Uh, when I first purchased them, I cannot remember if what color they were. If they were, I think they were off-white. Really boring to me. 
And you know I love black. And we had gold walls, and I had them downstairs in the front entrance. There is a video where they show up, an old, uh, one of our first videos, but it's of photographs of years ago, our decor. So um, I was never talking about these cat plaques. They are by Sexton and a lot of metal plaques uh, were by Sexton. I'm trying to remember the date on the back. Hmm. I forgot already. But anyways, um, you're getting a lot of um, shadow because they are sticking out from the wall a little bit. I do have pads on the back of them. Um, I'm considering this the guy and this the gal. Male, female, I should say. Wow, a lot of reflection there. It's from the orange cat below. All that uh, orangey color you're seeing. They're just glossy black. But I asked Norm to spray paint them for me many years ago, and I've been very happy with them. I had them in my bedroom for a while, but I kept finding so many other things to put up in my bedroom. I know that's crazy. I've had other cat plaques before too that were like chalkware. Have you ever seen those like beige uh, Siamese cats probably by Miller Studio? And they had pink bows on them. I had those too. Didn't have them real long. I don't know, I must have thought they were just kind of a little too cutesy. But I found these at the Goodwill and I could not believe it. I think the pair was $10. I about fainted. I thought, are you guys crazy or what? Oh man, I was just thrilled. It just didn't seem to make sense. And they are not broken. That is the shocking part. Oh, I was so happy. I thought they were adorable. I don't normally collect cats or dogs with painted flowers on them. Yes, a lot of them have flowers on them. And these have flowers in them. I thrifted this for, I think it was like $4. I don't remember, but it is in a thrifting video. Maybe you recall seeing that thrifting video. It was at Family Pathways, and I think that was a couple years ago at least. So I thought, oh, that is just so cute. Look at the eyebrows sticking out, or the hair. I, I want to call them eyebrows, but... They really stick out over his eyes and then the great big ears. It is made so cute, but there was no ID on this either. So I do have some black beans, little tiny black beans in there. So sweet. So I love old plastic flowers. These are old plastic flowers. It just fits so nice on vintage things to put old plastic flowers in them. So whenever I find any little pieces of that sort of thing, I try to get them. And I just found this at a discount last year and it was in a video. I think it was, they were asking, or they could have, it could have even been $4.99, I forget, but it was a steal and I was, I started out my video with this saying, are you kidding me? Because <laughs> this is Royal Copley and it is not broken, glued, chipped anywhere. I thought I was pretty lucky. That is a tuxedo cat and my sister has one. Yep. So that is not a planter. A lot of your Royal Copley, of course, are planters. But it was very, very hard to balance things out on this shelf. I don't like the fact that I have two light areas and the two black areas. I would rather the two black areas were across from each other, but they just aren't the right height. I just didn't really have anything that was going to match up size-wise. 
So that's the best I could do. Well, let's go down here and see what's down in the stairwell. Hope I haven't worn you out yet or put you to sleep. Before I go downstairs, I just want to show you what a beautiful job they did on our steps. We could have found a carpet maybe that was golder than this. This really does match our um, living room carpet very, very well. But it is a little browner, just a tad browner than our old gold frise was. It's just that we have such golden oak woodwork that, you know, I really was trying to stick with, with a more golden tone carpet, but can't do much about it. We have plenty of wooden brown furniture around here now, so it's going to just have to all blend. This is very, very nice Karistan carpet. And they said it is so popular. The guys that installed it yesterday said, this stuff has gotten so popular, this particular design, it comes in different shades, of course, that they installed it in two houses just this week, <laughs> besides ours, before ours. So, yeah, and it's even in their showroom to walk on in their showroom because it's um, such a great wearing uh, and cool pattern. Yeah, so thanks for looking at that. Uh, we're pretty happy. They were wonderful guys. Did a great job. Um, these are odds and ends. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but what I mean is they're very very different styles these two adorable I hope I don't drop my phone I'm gonna have to hold on to the railing here um, and lean over <laughs> whose idea was it to put this shelf here anyways mine uh, my brother had these at his house they're probably Japan very sweet very very sweet eyes very real looking eyes so cute and I found this at a thrift store oh quite a few years ago for three dollars I believe the Goodwill and it's not broken anywhere so that was another incredible deal so she got to sit with those two little doggies I'm sorry, I'm not holding my phone steady with two hands. These are the little tiny things that I was unwrapping, including the ones at the top of the stairs on that wire shelf uh, with the little ones on it. Yeah, so a lot of these I used to have in the turquoise bedroom on a different shadow box, not the one that's in there now. It was a little simpler, smaller shadow box. But then I got into the lady head bases because they were my mom's. So I was, you know, collecting cute little Japan spaghetti, cats and dogs like this, and little Japan ones like that. Um, these are more newer purchases. I have in a video the two cats on the far ends from the treasure shed. They may have been like, were they like four dollars each? And the kitty, the pink kitty. They were some real deals. That's why I got them. I thought, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And they have Swarovski crystals on them. They are really nicely made. Beautiful. So tiny. That one is so tiny and so cute. And that one came with the rhinestone eyes on it. It's an old Japan one too. I've had it for many years. And there's the other cutie. There's probably a little stone missing on a foot or something. They're not perfect. Oops. 
almost dropped my phone, sorry. Now I purchased this salt and pepper set a few years ago. They're a little bit spaghetti too. So it is a poodle and a kitty. Very cute set and I probably showed it in the kitchen for Easter. A lot of these are like red clay. So I'm not crazy about them. That one was part of a, a set, I would assume, with chains because of the ring. I've had these two cuties for years. A little bit of spaghetti on that one. And my brother gave me these two salt and peppers. Very funny. And I just found that fire hydrant salt shaker uh, for a dollar or something like that. It's made in Japan. I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh my goodness, I got to get that for my cat and dog set. <laughs> That's too funny. That I just found too. Irresistible. Don't remember where, but it was so cute. It is not a salt and pepper. Probably Japan. Now, these are... I don't know who would have made these. You'd want to think California Originals because of all the gold. I don't think there's anything on the back. I just hung them up this afternoon, well, after dinner. But anyways, this is red clay. Yep, the backs of them are red. And I had a nail where the one on the right is. There was a nail there, and it probably showed up in my snowman video. Maybe even, nah, the Christmas video, I hung a little wreath there. But that nail was there from a lot of other things over the years. So I thought, oh, maybe they'd work down here. Because I didn't have anywhere in my bedroom wide enough to have those two across from each other. That's what the problem was. There's just nowhere in my pink bedroom. Nowhere, nowhere to hang them. So they've been in the bin for years. Hmm, I do like them. I hope you like them. So that is all I have for you today. I hope that you've had a, a great day and you're not getting buried by snow like we just did in the past few days. It snowed for three days and it's very deep out there, and poor Norm, he had to go outside, and after moving all this furniture, it was very, very hard. He moved it all out on Monday into the living room, and then he moved it all back again yesterday afternoon, and then this afternoon he went out, well, twice this morning, and this afternoon he not only does the whole driveway, and around on the sidewalk, but he did the whole backyard path because the ducks have been landing here every day, all week, looking for corn, and it just keeps getting buried by the snow. So that's what's been going on here. I know there's a lot of wacky weather all over the country. So I pray that all of you have been safe and will remain safe. Thank you, thank you for your kind words. We sure appreciate all of you, and we wish you a blessed March coming up very soon. Take care now. Bye.